What's up everybody, today I want to do a review on the Cuisinart Air Fryer. I have two models from the Cuisinart Air Fryer product line in front of me. Right here is the TOA60W, the W simply stands for white, and over here is the TOA70. This is the stainless steel air fryer with grill. So the difference between these two units here is this one still gives you all the other features like toaster oven, convection oven, cooking, all that good stuff, but it doesn't have a grill. This model gives you all those features, plus it has a grill option. I really wanted to do this review today because we use this toaster oven multiple times a week. It's really a lifesaver when you have kids, you need to make something quick. They cook the food faster than normal, like than a normal oven. And it's not simply just an air fryer alone. So out of these two models, this model, the TOA60, is a little harder to find now. It was a little cheaper, but Cuisinart seems to be pushing the TOA70 a lot more. Both models are 1800 watts, and both cook food really well. If you look at the controls here of the TOA70, it's pretty simple to operate. You have your timer, goes from uh, essentially zero or starts here counting at 10 up to 60 minutes. Then you have your temperature, which is in Fahrenheit. You can set it from warm to 450 degrees and then you go from toast to broil. Because toasting and broiling, you actually want it hotter than 450 degrees. There's your functions here. So you have warm broil, convection broil. So that's broiling with the circulation fan running. Toast, bake, that's regular bake. And then you have convection bake. So that's with the circulation fan running and air fry. And last but not least, grill. This is the model with the grill. And then this knob right here is only if you're using the toast function. So if you have this set to toast, then you can select whether or not you want your toast to be light, medium, or dark. And that's just a timer. So the longer that the timer is on, the darker your toast is gonna get, pretty simple. And that's your light right there, see inside the oven, a little easier when food's being cooked. All right, let's show you the inside. So you open up the air fryer, and here you have a bottom rack, and you have this baking tray here. If you want to air fry, put this basket in here. We have a wire mesh basket that just sits right into this baking tray and the tray becomes a drip tray. If you want to grill, the TOA70 comes with this grill insert right here. And this is what you grill on. So this just sits right here inside the baking tray as well. And you can see that you have your, your grate pattern here. And if you flip it over, flat searing, you can do it on this side. It has these, these slots here to help drain any kind of grease that drips off during the grilling process. What about available space on the inside of the unit? So, get out my measuring tape here. See that the inside is 12 and an eighth inch. So you, let's call it 12 inches wide. by 12 inches deep and your height from this bottom rack to the top heating elements is about five or so, four and a half inches, I would say. And this baking sheet right here on the inside is 11 and three quarter by roughly 10 and a quarter, 10, 10 and three eighths. Your height between the bottom of the pan and the top of heating element is three inches. So in terms of um, the food that you could fit in here or grill or air fry in here, it can't be more than three inches tall or it's gonna hit the, the heating elements up top. Another popular question is gonna be, what about countertop space? Both of these models, they measure exactly the same. So I'm just gonna measure both of them. You got here 16 inches wide by just about 12 inches deep. 
and height, uh, we're talking 14 inches. So 14 inches should fit under the vast majority of cabinets in most people's kitchens. And the depth is not bad, so you can slide it nicely underneath the cabinets. It doesn't take up too much space, in other words. All right, so I already showed you the dimensions of the units, showed you the features, the controls. Now that's enough talk about the units. How about now we'll show you how they actually cook something. So I picked out something quick and easy for this demonstration. I have some frozen jalapeno poppers. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them into my TOA 60 because this one has a lot more mileage on it. So while these are cooking, I just want to take a minute to share one of the reasons why I really love air fryers so much. Not only are they a healthier form of frying food, but it's way faster than using the conventional oven. For example, I cooked some frozen chicken wings the other day, and in the back of the bag it said, for a conventional oven, it takes 21 to 24 minutes. But for an air fryer, it takes 11 to 14 minutes. That saves 10 minutes alone by using the air fryer versus the conventional. So that leads me to one more tip. When you are air frying things like this, especially ones that are filled with cheese, definitely want to keep a close eye on the food when it's in the air fryer because from one minute to the next, you can go from having a nice crispy cheese filled mozzarella stick to a nice crispy empty mozzarella stick, if you know what I mean. So definitely want to keep a close eye on it. Now, if at any time I want to stop the food and check it, all I got to do is open the door. You open up the door, the oven safely shuts off. The timer does keep going though. So you can go ahead and pull it out, check your food, make sure it needs more time. If it does, just go ahead, reshut the door, and then the oven will pick right back up where it left off. The other feature I forgot to mention is this crumb tray. So it just slides right out from the bottom of the unit. And on here it collects any kind of crumbs that fall to the bottom, you know, just like a toaster or a toaster oven, because this serves the purpose of toaster and toaster oven as well. And you would go ahead and you'd take that, dump it into the trash, and you'd be good to go. So there you have it, folks. There's a quick demonstration and review of the Cuisinart Air Fryer. This is the Cuisinart Air Fryer, the TOA 60. W, which stands for white. This is the TOA 70, which is the air fryer with grill. Did a quick air fryer demonstration using my TOA 60 here. Uh, another cool thing I like about this unit, that applies to both of them, is you can go ahead and take the hot tray right out of the oven, place it right on top of your toaster oven, and then you can go ahead and take your food right out of the air fryer basket. What you get with an air fryer like this, as opposed to the, the ones that have like the round baskets, you get to lay your food out evenly like this. You can put adequate spacing in between the individual pieces of food that allow for better air circulation. So you don't have to worry about uh, food sticking together like it does in the air fryers that take the basket form. Uh, like the round basket where the food kind of just sits on top of each other or maybe you have to shake it around you don't have to worry about that with this unit because the food just sits spaced out nice and evenly exactly how you arrange it when you're putting it in that's how it's going to stay when it's cooking and it's going to be that way when you take it out so i really really recommend the cuisinart air fryers no matter which model you go with i'm confident that you're going to be happy so if you like this review and you found this review helpful, like, subscribe, and just keep your eyes out for more cool content, reviews, and other useful information. Thanks for watching.